3D printers have become popular, however the size is limited in production scale. In this paper, we apply the additive manufacturing technique to an architectural scale. Instead of simply scaling up a 3D printer, our approach becomes human-machine cooperation. The machine tells the user, or the human, where to print. We have three main technical developments. Sticks as a printing material, a handheld stick dispenser, and print guidance system. Altogether, we propose a comprehensive method for large-scale 3D printing. The stick aggregation creates a porous structure, which we take as a lightweight printing material. The straight shape is easy for storing and logistics. There are two modes in aggregation, jammed aggregation and stratified aggregation. Jammed aggregation is formed by dropping sticks vertically. We usually print in this way, as it is the easiest and prints the fastest. Stratified aggregation requires precise work. It is necessary to build oblique walls. The material was evaluated as a homogeneous volume by the results from the compression and bending tests. First we load a bundle of sticks manually. Then the sticks and glue are deposited by rollers. The glue feeder applies wood glue on rollers. Workers control the dropping angle and height according to the structure. This is an overview of the stick blower system. First, chopsticks are inserted into the hose. Sticks are then sent to the cyclone classifier. The classifier slows down the flow speed by making a vortex flow and sends sticks to the dispensing unit. The dispensing unit applies glue on sticks. This is a workflow of the guidance system. The depth camera scans a constructed work. Then the system compares it with the target geometry. It distinguishes sufficient, insufficient, and excessive. A simple color code is projected onto the current work. A camera projector system is set on a scaffolding. The system is calibrated with preset markers in the real world. By clicking depth map and projection map on the user interface, a set of coordinates is collected. After collecting eight sets, the system is calibrated. Workers can focus on printing by following the projection. Using a board, it is easy to check the entire target shape. The system can project horizontally to check panel positioning. The first layer was printed on site. The rest was subdivided into panels. Panels were prefabricated indoors. The foundation was set first with weights and reinforcements. Also with the physical markers for calibration. These preset markers determine calibration areas. Each calibration area corresponds to each surface. The surface is voxelized in relation to the area. After the first layer, prefabricated panels were placed. Panels were temporarily positioned by supports and fixed later on. Final construction took three weeks.